Okay, just a quick recap about how far I've got with uh, project projects. Uh, I've now got it running quite a few different effects, uh, which I'll just give you an example of. Uh, any second now, if I can actually make it work. Uh, ah, there we go. Okay, uh, this is just a standard scanning. It's just one beam just straight ahead. Uh, um, do all the various different colours, which is nice. I'll just keep it on white just for now, uh, just because it's, it's nice and bright. Uh, I got a kind of like a forehead scanner, uh, not as in your your forehead, but it's four heads. So you can have the. This is actually opposite in both pan and tilt. Um, and I've got. Uh, Going around in circles, you know, so these these two just sort of can follow each other around. Or so I've got two: one's for a pan and one's for a tilt. Going around in a circle. Um, where are we? And then I've got just a. This is just a, a sort of like a uh, just a laser line, going in one direction. Um, this is. Um, these are just kind of a couple of a couple of parallel lines, really. That just kind of move around a. Around a circle, parallel. Um, uh, here we got uh, sort of kind of two moonflowers, one inside another. Um, the, con the pan controls the outside one, I think, and the tilt controls the inside. Um, what's next? Oh, same sort of thing again. Okay, where else are we? What's next? Uh, this is kind of like a lighthouse effect. You've got you've got a, a kind of like a, a bar. And it's kind of horizontal, if you like, and then you've got a you've got a sweeping searchlight, which can come across uh, within that light. Uh, we've got butterfly wings. These are quite smart. I quite like these butterfly wings. Um, and I think we've got butterfly wings going the other way as well. So the first one was controlled by pan, the second one was controlled by tilt. Um, uh, that one's uh, that one's not so good, or is it? Oh, hang on. Yeah, this is a very strange sort of square. I haven't really made my mind up about that one yet. Um, uh, I can't remember what that one's doing at the moment. Let's move on a little bit. Um, this is. Uh, this is both, both uses pan and tilt. If I put that over to one side, I've got a vert vertical stripe, and I've got a, sort of like a split, uh, split, split uh, tilts. So as one tilt goes up, the other one goes down. It's a bit like one of those sort of treadmill, uh, keep fit type things. Um, what's this one? This is a, this is what I like to call snowstorm. You can have it going in two directions, or you can have it actually have it going diagonally. Um, it's quite a. This is quite an amazing effect, actually, to to actually watch. Stand back and watch. So that's pretty cool. Uh, where are we now? Uh, that one. Uh, forget that one. Let's move on. Okay. This is a. This is also a moonflower, but uh, this one I, ca I can actually move, move around. So I, I can actually have it sort of spinning, and then moving around across to the other side. Of the room, so it's like a moonflower, a moonflower on a mirror, mirror, if you like, and then back up to the centre. Um, uh, what else have we got? Uh, this one is uh, quite quite a strange one, actually. You can't really see what's going on. It, it's kind of a kaleidoscope effect. I'm going to work more on that one. Um, and. I don't know what that one's doing at the moment. This is quite cool. This is uh, this is actually uh, a square, um, and the uh, the beams sort of go round the square around the outside. Let's just have a another little puff of fog in there, just to keep the whole thing going. You can get a better idea. So this is quite cool, quite cool because this is actually a square. Uh, with with things going on, 
Um, I think it's got two parallel sides with one line going up, one line going down, um, and a top and a bottom, left and right. Variations on a theme, really. So this one's uh, the top, top and the bottom going one direction, the left and the right going down, uh, and both the left and right going down, and finally the top and the bottom going left. So variations on a theme all look pretty, pretty cool. This one's a bit of a snake. This does its uh, does its own thing basically. Uh, every time it hits the side, it's a bit like ping pong. When it hits the side, changes direction. But it's quite good. I might do a double one of those. Um, and then. This one uh, is set so that you can actually collapse. You can actually collapse the size of the of the beam. You can't actually see what's going on at the moment, but it kind of it's like it zooms in and out. Uh, that one. Uh, and then we've got this is a windmill actually. This is kind of moving on to kind of gobo shapes now. This is a windmill going around. Uh, and this is kind of like a, it's a bit of a triangle, strange triangle. As you see, I'm just doing things for effects rather than actual proper shapes. Uh, I think that's a, that's a square. So I mean, if I turn around and show you the kind of thing that's going on on the walls, it's kind of, if you excuse the fact that I'm running up the ceiling as well, you can kind of get the idea. Um, I'll come back on some of the programs now. Uh, and then you've got a triangle. I mean, these do make quite good gobo effects, actually. Uh, and then I think you've got the windmill effect. Uh, that's the circle that uh, diminishes in size. Um, snake, wee. Uh, and then we've got all these different, various different shapes. I need to get back a little bit. Okay, for that. Oh, this is a strange one that I was kind of working on. Bit of an unusual pattern. Um, don't know about that one. Bit of a jiggler. Ah, uh, yeah, and there's, there's kaleidoscope. Uh, and there's another kind of square. Um, snowstorm. This is what I meant about the snowstorm. You can have it going in different directions and up and down and around or you know completely stationary if you want um, split level pan and tilt on that one um, that needs fixing this is kind of like a crosshairs type of hashtag uh, And there we are, back down to the spot again. All of these, as I've said before, available in all the possible colours you'd like. Um, I've just got a very simple colouring system, which would go from whites and then through all the uh, through the sort of half mixes, rather than just the uh, just straightforward RGB set. Um, it goes through all the purples, the reds, the greens, and then the second half of the the scale from 128 up. I, I've got a very slow blend through all of the colours, um, right up to the very top again, and uh, finally resting at white. Okay, and I've also got uh, I've also got a full a full dimming channel so you can go completely to sleep. Okay, thank you.